Hey guys, what's up? It's me, Angels from Angels Crafts and Bakes. Today is gonna be a baking video. We're gonna make Jello pinwheels. I found this on a YouTube page. I forgot the name, but I found it, and it's really easy and fun to do. So, as you see, what's going on around here? I'm adding all my pixelized art projects on the wall. Right now, I have my chef like on that side with the cake in the creeper canvas over there so um, every time I do an art project I'm gonna hang it on the wall let's get started the things we will need is a box of jello this is three ounces has to be three ounces a half a cup of water and a cup of miniature marshmallows your first step is to pour your gelatin in a medium sized bowl make sure it's microwaveable safe Add your half a cup of water and don't mix it fully. Just make sure the powder is blended with the water. Then pop it in the microwave for one minute. After you're done with that, you want to make sure to mix it really good till all the sugar is dissolved. Then add your cup of marshmallows and just make sure the marshmallows are wet, are, is wet in the bowl. Then put it in the microwave for 30 seconds. Then you're going to mix it and then you're going to see it cream. So, after you're done mixing it with the marshmallows, you want to put it by an 8x8 casserole dish pan, I want to say, or a cake, like a square, medium-sized cake pan, as you call it. Spray, spray with butter spray, and then use a tissue paper or a napkin to wipe it, to not have like dots, like bubbles, but like spread it evenly and get the edges important. Then after that, you want to put it in the refrigerator, doesn't matter what temperature, just put in the refrigerator for one hour or until it's nice and firm, like gelatin. 
When you're done with that, what you want to do is take it out the refrigerator and then with a sharp knife, cut the edge around the pan. Then what you want to do is start from the corner and loosen up from the top edge of the gelatin mold and then start folding it in tightly. When the marshmallows touch together on top, it will stick there and then you got to start from there. So make sure you fold it tightly, not loosely, then it won't be a perfect swirl and won't stick together. So you want to fold it in tightly. then what you will have a round long cinnamon roll like you see so you could cut it two different ways you could do like how you cut cinnamon rolls with the two strings then you knot it then you just pull or you could use a sharp knife and just chop it really good in one slice 